Hi, welcome into this iRacing video. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to get you set up with triple screens without needing to use either NVIDIA Surround or AMD Ifinity. This is just um, a simple config edit, uh, a few setting changes in iRacing, and you'll be set up nice and easily. You won't have to, if you're switching your machine that you use for work into racing, this allows you just to fire up iRacing, everything open, full screen appearance, overlays work without any um, issues where overlays are falling behind the screen, you won't have any borders, It's um, I can show you a few settings to adjust to make this very optimal for your graphics. Um, it's just the way I've been doing it for a very long time and now I'm experienced at it, I thought I'd share and um, show you exactly how to do it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is head over to My Documents. Once you're there, iRacing, inside of iRacing, you're going to want to scroll down to the app any. You can open this in any program you want. I'm going to use Sublime. Once that's open, you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you get to Graphics DX11, that's DirectX 11. And you're going to see here, first of all, full screen, make sure that's set to zero. You're going to want to set your windowed width to the width of your three monitors, so mine is um, 1920 times 3, 5760. You want to set your X position to negative 1920. That's going to put everything centralized. You're going to want to make sure border is set to zero. Um, as far as the browser settings, I would set that to 1920 1080. Make sure windowed mode enabled. You're just going to have much better support. Um, the other setting to make sure you want is your windowed height. This is probably correct anyway, but just make sure if you're running at 1920, 1080, you want that at 1080. You want your Y position at zero. So just to reiterate what this is doing, if you've left this at zero, your triple screens would start from your middle one and branch out three. You, you, you're minusing one to bring it all center. It will uh, make a bit more sense once we fire up iRacing. Um, so let's do that now. Okay, now we've got iRacing open. You want to head to Options, Graphics. Once you're in the graphics, you're going to make sure your resolution's reading correctly. If it isn't reading correctly, you're going to need to start this process again and go back to the file. I wouldn't recommend changing this setting at all. I wouldn't even recommend clicking on it because 5760 by 1080 isn't going to be an option offered by iRacing because, because we're not using NVIDIA Surround or the AMD Affinity, you don't have the option for this uh, resolution, that's why you need to make sure it's set in the uh, settings. Uh, full screen and border should be off because we set that in the config. You're going to want to change your number of screens to three. You're also going to want to make sure SMP is ticked um, because you're rendering each of your screen, uh, each of each part of your iRacing on separate screens. This will offload the work from your processor to your GPU. Now, we're going on a long shot here, I assume you have a good GPU and its CPU is okay. Uh, because that's the nature of iRacing, we want to make sure our GPU that we have a good one. So offloading the work there will be a fantastic thing to do. Um, triple screen. Now, seeing my setup, you should be looking at it much the same as if you had NVIDIA, uh, one of the surround technologies running. There should be no borders. The screen should be completely filled. And I'm sure you've seen some of my videos. If not, check them out. Um, overlays from CAPS, STK Gaming, uh, Race Lab apps all work, you're not going to have problems um, with them not working in a full screen environment. So the benefits of this, we've offloaded the work to um, the GPU, not the processor. We're in a situation where you can use your PC for work, you haven't got to keep switching between surround and non for, you know, general work tasks versus gaming. Um, it's very optimal on the GPU, I've been using this technique for a very long time and OBS at the same time and um, the results are fantastic. Um, sorry, you're going to want to make sure multi projections ticked. Um, one discussion I have a lot with the SMP, a lot of people find, is that the angle between the um, center and side screens gets um, reduced. My advice would be to make sure your FOV is correct. I'll put a link down in the description to an FOV calculator and an FOV um, explanation video. Long and short of it is angle is a result. It's not something you choose. You don't get to choose your angle. I mean, you do, you can type in what you want, but an angle should be a result of the calculations made from your field of view. So that's, most people put it at 45 when they get the monitors, they 
put them roughly at 45 they put the 45 and then they calculate their FOV and they never come back to angle well angle has a lot to do with distortion um, I thought I'd mention this video because um, if you move into triple screen then distortion is going to be one of the problems you have to first of all deal with so link in the description for my FOV video I really hope it helps you out otherwise down in the comments in this video if you have any problems um, I'm trying to think of any common problems I've had make sure your align is set to none and that will definitely make sure that that negative number works for you so don't copy my settings if you don't have 1920 by 1080 monitors the let's get sublime open the um, windowed width is the, your monitors resolution width times three the height um, is the height of one of your monitors doesn't matter you don't have the times by three obviously you only have one height Windows exposition is going to be zero regardless. This will be minus whatever one of your screen's width resolution is. Um, the browser settings up here, just set them to one monitor. Make sure border zero, full screen zero, and um, the rest can be set all in iRacing. So I really hope that helps you out. Um, as I say, I didn't. I wanted to make this video a long time ago, but I wanted to make sure the settings worked for me, all the overlays worked, optimum on the GPU, optimum on the CPU, and that, uh, that I was happy with the setup. And I'm at the point now where I can uh, fully recommend it and endorse it myself. So uh, as I say, uh, jump in Discord, down in the comments, social media if you need a hand. But other than that, thank you very much. Like if you like this video, sub if you want to see the next one. Bell notification if you want to know the next one drops. But other than that, thank you ever so much for all the support. You guys all rock. Thank you very much.